we doing today? I don't know. Where Do you even know? You tell them. <laughs> Do you want to show everybody what you're wearing? Well, tell them what we're doing first. We are going to the Spirit of 45 celebration out down in Long Beach. Specifically San Pedro, but... Yep. What are you doing right now? Right now I'm taking all my blanks out because I don't want to get yelled at. Okay. That's why I brought the ammo thing. I have to do this. What's in that box? That looks interesting. Hmm? What's in this box? That's all our snacks. <laughs> That we were gonna bring when we were sleeping over. <laughs> now we just have a bunch of snacks. <laughs> you want to sort it all right make sure you talk loud though so we're here at the ss lane victory to celebrate the 76th anniversary of the end of world war ii okay i'm here as a marine this was a merchant marine vessel i think it was completed towards the end of the war i didn't see a whole lot of action but it's really exciting to be here and you can actually look off the edge of the ship and you'll see a bunch of displays set up this is one of our more laid back events when we do our displays. A lot of times we just sit there and explain sort of what we do and bring light to things that a lot of people just aren't aware of when it comes to World War II and other parts of 20th century history. Those of you who haven't actually looked out of an a real porthole. These things are tiny. same spots here you can kind of tell there's a few things that look almost exactly the same as you can see uh, stethoscope technology hasn't changed in 200 years 
they're almost exactly the same. However, things like these have changed quite a bit. And needles back then, of course, they didn't exactly have supplies coming in like every other day. So we would need to, these are glass and metal steel needles, and they would have to use them, wash them, and sharpen them and use them again. Of course, today we use it once and we throw it away. Yeah. I would not want to be the one of the third or fourth person who used this needle before they actually sharpened it again. <laughs> Another, another interesting artifact we have over here, this is a real morphine syringe that they used during World War II, a corpsman, or uh, they would carry one of these in their pouch that looks just a little like one of these. So what they do is they take the top off of that, expose this needle, and then you jam that into a particular muscle group that's close enough to the wound that's gonna make some difference. Then you take this and you pin it to the person at the front of their uniform, and that way the next step up the line, people know that they already got a shot of morphine, so you don't overdose anybody. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much good. We've got this interesting display of different uniforms. Obviously, in 1941, when the attack will ever be what the nurses were wearing in the hospital on base. As you can see, white dresses don't lend themselves well to the field. So around 1943, they started thinking, well, we better put them in something a little bit more functional. So they gave them more like men's coveralls. Um, they uh, were very functional and very easy to keep, and uh, easy to better to keep clean than this thing, that's for sure. This particular one is an early Class A uniform. Um, for the Army Nurse Corps, and then they came to, a little later in the war, around 1943, they, they wanted the whole army to look olive, so they created this uniform for the women. There's a, a, a skirt that's actually this exact same color as the jacket that can be interchangeable with this one, and they call this one pink. It's uh, not exactly pink, it's more of a gray with a pink undertone, but women liked this one because it was a little bit more feminine. Uh, one of the things that the women of World War II were very aware of was that this was the first war that women were allowed to be on the front lines along with the men. So they wanted to be a part of the fighting, they wanted to help, but they also wanted to maintain as much of their femininity as possible. So they wanted to be, they wanted to curl their hair, they wanted to have lipstick, they wanted to have makeup, they wanted to look good while they were still doing their job. They, they, uh, and the men appreciate it. Actually, it's one of the reasons why they allowed women to be that close. They were good for morale as well as anything else. Oh, yeah. Celebration. Fleet Admiral of the United States Navy, arriving.
Hey, Marine, get out of that picture. It's a Navy picture. <laughs> Marine. Bang! Bang! <laughs> <laughs> 